Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, warmest of welcomes to you. My name is Non Rev Sims, and welcome to day eight of the 12 Simmers of Christmas collab. Yes, you heard that correctly. We have 12 amazing Simmers releasing Christmassy videos every single day until the 23rd, and our main goal is just to spread some good holiday cheer, bring in the good Christmas vibes after the year we've all had. So I just wanna give a huge shout out and give many many thanks to Novella Sims for organizing this and asking me to be a part of it um, thank you Novi for helping us spread some good vibes through the community through our videos um, basically Novella, Novella was inspired by the Christmas Carol the 12 days of Christmas that is why we are the 12 Simmers of Christmas and that is why we have 12 videos coming out for you guys every single day so um, we didn't want to spam your subscription boxes because there's a lot of us and there's a lot of videos so um, there will be a link in the description to the playlist that way you can go catch days one through seven because I'm day eight and then also catch the remaining videos as they come out this coming week so make sure you go check out the description which will have all relevant links including all of the links of the content creator all of the links of the creators who are part of this collab and we have a wide variety of simmers you guys I was so excited um, to be a included in this group of simmers because they're all really great and they're all really amazing so make sure you check out the description go visit their channels go give them some love go spread those good Christmassy vibes give them some love and do all the good things so um, like I said this collab was inspired by the 12 days of Christmas song so um, in order of so in order of the song all of the simmers that are included in this collab are novella sims with day one day two is florida day three is geekarella day four is rose plays day five is pleasant sims day six is girl meets pixels day seven is marion sims day eight is me non-rev sims day nine is plum dot day 10 is wisteria Day 11 is Spellburst and day 12 is April Dark. So like I said, we have a wide variety of simmers. We have some amazing people on this list. Like they're all really great. So again, make sure you check out their channels, check out the description for everyone's links and go give them some love, like I said. So I had day eight, which is, which for the Christmas Carol, it goes eight maids of milking. And that is how I drew inspiration to build this farmhouse. I knew instantly that I wanted to include the Sims 3 store item, the, the cows as well as the chickens. And I said, you know what, let me make a farmhouse for two reasons. One for this collab and two, because I've been wanting to build a farmhouse for my current household that I share here on YouTube. So I said two birds, one stone, check. Um, so that is the reason I got that is the reason I decided to build this. Also because I don't typically mess with any of the farming things in this game. Like I bought that cow set and I never used it. Um, so I thought this was the best way for me to, you know, see some more things in the Sims 3 game that I have never interacted with before. Because again, like I said, I, I don't use that cow set. I've never used it. I've used, I've used the chicken for my rags to riches challenge. But even then that was like the first time I actually played around with it. So you would have seen at the beginning, my maid who was a milk ink had her cow tipped over and got very angry. Um, so don't go messing around with, with the maid's cows. <laughs> I don't even know I don't even I was just recording and I was like I let my sims I turned on free will and that's what they all decided to do so I just decided to follow them around and made a video out of whatever they wanted to do so um that is the sims I had for my little intro video I hope you guys enjoyed it it was it was it was interesting to make because they did some interesting things that I couldn't put in the video but um yeah I hope you guys enjoyed that um so this house features three bedrooms and three bathrooms and then the barn off to the right it's an l-shaped house which is my first time ever doing an l-shaped house and um there's two extra rooms there's the garage as well as the the bonus room upstairs and the little um the little hideaway up on top of the barn so you can extend this house and make it or you can have a lot of sims in this house because there is a lot of space you will not run out of space in this house so there's room to grow room to expand and all that good stuff so I kind of made this in mind with my current household because we do have a lot of sims in my current household so I wanted some place for them to grow as a family and for them to stay long term my current household move my current household has moved has moved houses quite a bit because we typically run out of space like we did now um, but like I said it has three bedrooms three bathrooms room to grow room to expand and yeah I, like I said I drew inspiration from the Sims 3 store cow set and I kind of just let that decide the way I wanted to go with this I had a lot of difficulty building this house let me tell you now I had hours and hours of footage because 
it took me ages to build this house. Um, the floor plan for this was a nightmare. I, I started this like December 5th and I didn't finish it until the 16th. So it took me quite a bit of time. And that is the reason the speed build footage is fairly short because I had to cut out a lot of stuff to fit it all in. I didn't want you guys to watch an hour long video of me being indecisive. So I spared you all, I spared you all from that having to watch all that. So that's why this footage is quite a bit short, but to make up for that, I did do a video tour instead of screenshots at the end. That way you can see all of the things I did put in um, that you won't see me put in during the speed build because I cut a majority of it out. But yeah, the floor plan was a nightmare. Um, the, the out exterior was a nightmare because I did build this like freehand. I didn't use any reference photos or anything. I did look up farmhouses, but I didn't find anyone that I really liked. So I kind of just threw together different ideas. I didn't use one photo, which is what I normally do and build from that. So I think that's why it took me quite a bit more time. I normally use a reference photo, but I still had a lot of fun building this. I do love the way it turned out. I was really excited and um, yeah, so that is all there is to this house. Real quick before this video ended, I did want to give a huge thanks again to Novella for including me including me in this collab as well as everyone else who decided to join in. Thank you guys for helping to spread some Christmas cheer. You know, we all need some good vibes. We all need a great way to end the year. And I feel like this is the best way to do it through our through our simming videos for the simming community just to spread some goodness um, and good vibes. Um, just to spread some good vibes for everyone so again thank you and then i also did want to give a huge 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 thank you to every single person who has ever watched a single one of my videos or has ever commented or has liked or subscribed um thank you everyone when i started this channel last year i never in a million years would i ever think that i would be in the position i'm in now um this is not this is something i just did decided to do for fun like i do have a full-time job and that's why i can't always make videos consistently so thank you guys thank you to those who have stuck by my side and who have joined the family thank you so much for joining this little community i have built here on youtube um again i didn't ever expect to be in this position i'm in now um every single time i get a comment or a like or i see that someone new has watched my video i always get like you guys literally put a smile on my face and you have no idea how much joy it brings me even those comments i get all the time even the comments I get asking me um, whether or not I play The Sims 3 on Mac because of my intro, which I do, and it's it's always so funny. I get this comment lots, or I do. I used to get this comment a lot before The Sims 3 update. So even those comments bring a smile to my face. Thank you guys for bringing me joy in this like in this crazy year. Thank you guys for being a constant source of happiness for me. Um, again, I can't wait to see where the new year brings us. I hope you guys get everything you wish for and much, much more. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to check out the channels listed in the description. Give them some love, like I said. And don't forget to check the playlist for the remaining videos. You guys will not be disappointed, okay? Uh, in a few seconds, we will be doing the video tour. So I hope you guys enjoy that and I will see you in the next one. And guys, if you've made it this far, thank you for so much for watching. Um, normally at this point in the video, I would do a picture like slideshow, but I thought, you know, I'd rather do a video just to shake things up a little bit, make it a little different than what I normally do when I do speed builds. We are going to do a little video tour of the entire farmhouse. So here's just a quick overview of the entire house and everything I did because I know I'm going to edit a lot of footage out because I had hours and hours of footage. Um, but first things first, outside we have like the sign for the farm and then some little snowmen to decorate outside. Let people know we are all in the Christmas spirit, okay? We got some little decor on the outside. We got our holiday house lights. You can see the Christmas tree upstairs. Like I love when houses do that, so that's that. Over here we have our cows because they're the most important part of the house. They are the reason we chose to do a farm. So that's our little cow there. I named her Bessie um, after Bessie Clavel. 
<laughs> oh, we got some more cows inside. And then at the back of their little stable, they have their own Christmas lights because even cows love Christmas, okay? Uh, over here, we have our little chicken coop. We got two of those, and that's my playtesting sim. She's playing with the chickens. And then we have, see, the horseshoe court. Then we have, like, a little hay cart, you know, just move hay around. And then some barrels for, you know, decor and a water windmill. I think that's what it's called, right? I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. So first things first, we'll start off at the barn. You come in through the barn here and it's pretty basic in here. We just have a basic horse stable and, um, you know, saddle, hay, you know, all the basics for your horse. We do have a little clothesline for them to do their laundry and all that stuff. I thought it'd be more energy efficient for them to have a clothesline. You come upstairs and it is, you know, you can overlook the entire stable and yeah, we have a little workshop bench. And then we have like a little, a little sleeping bag area. Maybe like this is the kids hangout where they come and hide out from the parents sometimes. Um, I just included that, thought it was really cute. Um, then we come back outside, we come around the front of the house. We have a little, um, what is this thing called? A tractor, a rusted tractor. Like maybe this is this was part of the original farm of the family that lived here. And then the family that moved in and renovated it, they kept that as like a piece of history. And yeah. So first things first, let's go over here into the garage because there's nothing in here, but it is a second room. So if you did want to extend the house, you could use this as a room. I mean, you could put the car in, in here, but it would look weird. Um, just because it doesn't fit correctly. <laughs> it did not work, so um, I just left it open, you know? And then at the front of the house here, we have a little, uh, you know, some more Christmas decorations on the door. And y'all know me, I love me a good red door, so. <laughs> we have that up there just to let everyone know, you are now entering Christmas zone in this house. Um, and then we enter into the living room, which this was actually one of my favorite rooms to decorate. I don't even know why I didn't do that much in here. Um, but I did have a lot of fun choosing the patterns and everything that would go on the wall. And yeah. And then over here we have the entrance with some holiday cards, you know, getting in the spirit. Over here we have a little music area just for the, this is probably where the party would start, you know, have the music playing, um, you know, have those musical sims, you know, get the party going. And then um, over here we have our little fireplace, our TV, and yeah. The first room over here is actually the last room I decorated, which I spent like a total of five minutes on. Oh, hey, that's my other playtesting sim. Um, let's play. I spent no time on this. I At this point, I was already sick of decorating, so um, this room is kind of like a, a mess. Um, but here is the walk-in closet over there. Um, we got a little vanity there again I spent no time on this I do like the way the the carpet is on the floor I like I love that carpet over here is a bathroom and I love me a good bathtub on the platform like I've been doing that in a few I did that in a few of my builds before and I love doing that um, we have the the sinks and there's no mirror I forgot a mirror we love that and then a washer that was thrown there as an afterthought because I forgot I put the clothesline there so ooh hey <laughs> Um, okay, so then you come back out of the room. We're back in the living room. We enter into the dining room and the extra living space. So over here is the dining room. It is fairly large, like there's a lot of space. Um, here we have this huge table where they would have Christmas dinner, you know, all that stuff. Um, I actually love these chairs. I think this is a Sims 3 store item. Love those chairs. Okay, who turned on the music? This is why I should have kept it paused. <laughs> Okay, girl, we, we, we get it. We get it. We get it. Um, but over here we have the bar and then a little menu over there. And we have our mistletoe hanging there. And a Christmas tree with all of the toys and decorations ready for people to come and open them. We even have our stockings over there. Through this way is the kitchen. You just come through these. Again, we got those Christmas lights there. And the kitchen is actually, you know what? I said the living room was my favorite. I actually really like the kitchen as well. I think I did a really good job on the colors here. I'm obsessed. Y'all know me. Y'all know I love a blue or green kitchen. So um, kind of threw that in there. And we got the ice cream machine as well as the little fondue machine because, I mean, they're they're milk farmers, so they would have lots of extra milk um, to, you know, make all that ice cream and fondue and chocolate and all that good stuff. Um, we have a little breakfast nook, nook over there, and then on this side, we have the door that leads into the garage there. And that's about it for the kitchen. Again, man, I did a good job on that. 
<laughs> pat myself on the back um and then over here over here we do have the christmas tree but i did want to show you guys real quick i like love the way you could see over the banister and into this area or even when you're down below you can see up all the way to those windows upstairs love that Ooh, that mistletoe was hanging from nothing but you guys don't say anything um okay so you come upstairs you have this large hallway area and a little bench again you can see down to the christmas tree and all that good stuff we love it so you come this way um there's nothing much in here i again i gave up on decorating <laughs> once you enter this room this is the this is the first room in here and this is the kids room which i mean i think i did pretty well on here i was gonna leave it as is but then i was like oh let me put in some patterns and colors just to make it look a little more lively so we got this little kids room here which i mean these kids don't need any more toys i mean look at all that <laughs> look at all that they got going on they got two desks chairs and all the good stuff again some more some more little um farming elements we got the little deer head up there made out of branches I feel like that's something I would do as a kid. We got some more Christmas decor over there. Kids are excited about Christmas. Then you come out and you go around the hallway and then come into this second room here, which is, which was, I don't, I don't know what I was doing here, guys. I honestly have no idea. I was like, you know what? This room just has to be the Christmas room. So I made the lights green and red. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking, but I don't know. I like it. Again, we got some more um, farmy type of things. I don't know what I'm talking about. We got some Christmas cards over there on the dresser, a little TV and those branches. I don't know what I was going for again. <laughs> and then over here we have the another bathroom. This one, same thing, bath sub on the platform. At least I put a mirror here. Toilet, basic, basic. So then we come back out into the hallway. And this first door here is another bathroom. This is the hall bathroom. Um, same setup as everything else, all the other bathrooms. Nothing too crazy in there. And then through these doors is kind of like the game room slash office slash, you know, just everything room. Um, so here we have some exercise equipment. We have the drafting table or um, the second tree that's pretty much just for decoration. We have a little telescope game game thing and then over there we have a darts board so this room is kind of like a just a spare room this is probably what used to be an attic or something and the owners when they renovated the house they decided to open this up and they left that cool little pattern on the wall and that is the last room in this house um i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you gave it a thumbs up make sure to go check out everyone's videos um all of their links and a link to the playlist will be in the description. Give them some love. We are just trying to spread that Christmas holiday cheer, you know. After this year, I think we all deserve some, some good feels and all that good stuff. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you want to let me know your thoughts or comments, make sure you comment down below or tweet me on Twitter at nonrevsims. And if you enjoy my content and you want to see more, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I will see you guys in the next one.